Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Toby. We're going to be making broccoli and cheese or cheesy broccoli. All the components for today's recipe is found in the description box as well as throughout the ticker of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and make sure you hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. So I'm melting on medium heat four tablespoons of unsalted butter. To that I'm going to shake in four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And I'm just going to stir the two together and allow the two to lightly brown for about two minutes on medium heat. So I just lowered my heat to medium. After a, a couple of minutes I'm going to pour in one cup of low sodium chicken stock and while I'm pouring the chicken stock in I'm going to whisk. I'm just twisting a little bit of time. And once everything is smooth, I'm just going to pour in two cups of milk. I'm using lactose free milk. We're going to go stir in a little bit at a time just until everything is smooth. Once I got everything combined, I'm going to shake in. Well, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of coarsely ground black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic if you like. Just gonna whisk. I'm just gonna let everything to get really hot. So we'll be back in a minute. So I see here that my mixture is really hot. I see a, a nice amount of steam coming off. So I'm just gonna turn my heat all the way down to low. I have some cheese that I shredded, three quarters of a cup of a Kobe Jack cheese. Just gonna stir in the cheese. And then I'm gonna put in a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And just whisk until everything's combined. So once you have all your cheese stirred in, you need to add some type of acid. Now the acid that you choose to use is totally up to you if you want to use uh, like a teaspoon of mustard or a teaspoon of buttermilk or a teaspoon of lemon juice. I'm going to use lemon juice. Um, if you're going to use lemon juice, I'm using it because I can't tolerate mustard. So you're not going to taste the lemon juice at all. It's just for the acidity. But you can use mustard. Like I said, you know, typically mustard is used. So people who have allergies, you can use mustard or even turmeric. So I have uh, two heads of broccoli that I just, you know, removed from the core and everything and just cut into even sized pieces. And I'm just going to pour the cheese sauce over all of this broccoli. And I like to just take a spoon and sort of move the broccoli around. Spoon broccoli over the spoon the sauce over the broccoli that didn't get touched. Just gonna mix everything together. I'm gonna put this in a preheated 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 15 minutes just to get the broccoli. Here's the broccoli and cheese. I'm gonna give everything one final toss together. Tossing all that black pepper. Oh it smells amazing. I just love how cheesy that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and plate some of this up with my meal and give it a taste. We'll be back. So here is our broccoli and cheese. I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. I made my cube steak. If you're interested in the recipe, it's on my channel. I'll put the link in the box. It's fork tender cube steak. So here is our broccoli and cheese. It's very hot. This is really delicious. Mm. I love that cheesy flavor. All the flavors from the chicken stock are coming through. Honestly, this really reminds me of one of those old-fashioned southern buffets that I used to go to when I was a kid that used to serve broccoli and cheese. That was everything. So, I think this is delicious. It's perfect to serve if you have children that are picky eaters. 
and this is a nice vegetarian dish as well. Thank you so much for watching and supporting, and I'll see you guys next time.